Hi everyone, this is Grayson with Perla. In this video, we're going to talk about unicorns. Or more specifically, we're going to talk about how the Google Chrome extension for Perla can help me write this paper about the real life unicorn, the narwhal. Here inside of Chrome, I have an article from NPR that's all about chasing the elusive narwhal whale. And I want to take and cite this in the research paper that I'm writing. To start off with, I already have the Perla extension installed inside of Google Chrome. We've got a video on our help center that can help you do that in case you have any questions. And it's up here in the top right corner in the extensions menu. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open our extension. This is going to open up my Perla reference library where I can see all of the references that I've created. Let's start off by creating a new reference for the article that I want to cite. I'm going to click create a new reference and then I'm going to say use current page. That's going to use the information from the current web page I'm looking at to create my reference. Here I can see I have the author, the title, the website, and a publication date and URL. This looks great, so I'm going to click Next, and then I'm going to click Create. Perfect. Now we can see that the reference has been added to our reference library. Now this is where the new features come in. If I go to the menu in the top left corner, I can go to Research Notes. This is going to show me my reference library, but it's going to pull the suggested reference, the one that's matching the page that I'm currently looking at, to the top of the list. And here I can take and now create research notes for this reference in Perla from the page that I'm on. Let me show you. Let's start off by finding a great quote that we want to include in our paper, like this. This quote right here looks excellent. So I'm going to highlight the quote on the page that I'm viewing. Now I can go up to the Perla extension, and under the suggested reference, I can click Add Research Note. There, Perl is going to take the content that I highlighted on the page and automatically enter it into the Research Note field for me. All I have to do is press Enter on my keyboard and it's going to create the Research Note for me right here inside of that reference. Let's go ahead and add a citation while we're at it by clicking Add Citation and then choosing any of the applicable citation information. Since this is a web page, I can just click Create Citation at the bottom. Great, let's try this again. Here, let's include a quote about the number of narwhals that they've seen in the fjord. I'm going to highlight the text on the web page. I'm going to go to the Perla Chrome extension, and then I'm going to click Add Research Note inside of my reference. You'll notice that Perla kept me inside of the reference since that's where I left off. Just like before, Perla is going to take and pre-fill the field with the information that I've highlighted on the page. So once again, I can just press enter or return on my keyboard and create the new research note. I can continue to repeat this process for all of the great points that I find inside this reference that I might want to use in my paper later on. Okay, now let's say that we're done with that. Let's actually go inside of Perla and see this in action. I'm going to start off by going to the research tab inside of my paper. The first thing I need to do is add a reference from my library. So I'm going to choose Add Reference from Library. Now instead of sorting by name, let's sort by date created so the latest article that we made about chasing the narwhal is right at the top of the list. I can click Add to Paper, and Perlo is going to add my reference to my paper. Now underneath the reference, I can click Show Research Notes. And here I'll see both of those quotes that I pulled directly from the article available for me. That's pretty cool. But where that really gets interesting is inside of the editor tab. Here I can go into the research notes panel inside the editor. I can see the research notes that I've created and I can actually take and drag and drop these research notes directly into the body of the paper. And Perl is going to automatically generate the citation and the quote for me. That is pretty darn cool. So the new updated Google Chrome extension for Perla allows you to create references for the works that you're looking at inside of your browser. It allows you to take important parts of the reference that you're reading and add it into your Perla reference library as research notes. And then inside of Perla, it allows you to use your research notes to build your paper without having to recreate those citations or retype those notes. We think this is really going to streamline the research process and make your reference library a lot more powerful. If you ever have any questions, you can always find help for us in the Help Center at perlocom help or just by clicking Help Center in the left tab. 
Our support teams also here seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. on the weekdays and 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. on weekends. Just shoot us an email at support at Thanks so much for watching and good riding.